Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A stalker who bugged her ex-boyfriend's car redirected his mail and smeared him as a benefit cheat to get extra child support for their 12-year-old daughter is facing jail. Veronica Jackson told Kevin McCormick, I know where you are, I know what you are doing, in a campaign of stalking which even saw her make an anonymous call to his new employer at a nightclub falsely claiming police were investigating him for fraud. The 44-year-old also hoarded and opened her victim's letters in an attempt to prove he had a job and force him to contribute £200 a month in child maintenance payments. She now faces jail time after being convicted of stalking and a charge of delaying mail at Warrington Magistrates Court. Jackson and Mr. McCormick had a daughter together in 2012 but split up eight years later after a 10-year relationship. The father, who has another daughter, told the court he had agreed a figure with the Child Support Agency, CSA, but that Jackson, from Henbury, Cheshire, demanded more and the situation had become a stalemate. Jobless Mr. McCormick, who claimed he was only able to give £6.25 a week to support their child, then received a series of messages from his ex-girlfriend showing routes he had taken to and from his home and the times of the journeys. Texts from Jackson read, I have enough evidence to have you done for benefit fraud. Picture log ins all sorts. So we can sort this out between us or I will take the official route, are you going to talk Kevin? I want you to pay for our daughter as you should be doing. You've made a really bad error for the last few months. Private letters diverted to Jackson also revealed that Mr. McCormick was due to lose his rented flat, while the stalker also contacted his employer requesting confidential information when he eventually got a job. Mr. McCormick then contacted the Royal Mail to ask why he had not been receiving letters and was given a forwarding address which he visited and found the stalker's car parked outside. Jackson, who runs a hair extensions business, was eventually reported by police and when officers arrested her they found a sack of mail at her home with letters addressed to him which had been opened. The victim said that after he blocked Jackson on WhatsApp he found a packet of flour tipped over his vehicle the following day. Mr. McCormick told the court, one morning I was seeing a friend in Bolton and Veronica sent a message through with a picture of my car and a picture of some kind of app. It had what time I set off, what route I took, where I ended up, and she was accusing me of working, not paying enough, and all kinds of things with it. I was not working at the time. I felt scared and nervous and I felt like I was being harassed. It was non-stop messaging. Obviously with the tracking, it made me feel nervous. I did not know what to do. I could not move without her knowing where I was and sending them messages. I was looking out the window all the time. Is something going to come through my door? It was stressful. He added, I told Veronica the CSA were dealing with it and to leave me alone. I said, we can sort this out, stop harassing me. Stop stalking me and making my life that I cannot go anywhere. Leave me alone. Let's get on with our lives. Let's sort stuff out properly for our daughter. But she kept texting me. At the time I was renting a flat and I got a message from the landlord saying he was selling it. Then I got a message off Veronica saying haha, I'm so sorry to see you being homeless. You deserve this. You are being evicted. It was blowing my mind how she knew this information. Only the landlord and the estate agent dealing with it knew about it. I was not getting any post for about two or three weeks and I thought that was a bit odd so I went to the post office and inquired and they said my mail had been redirected to this address. I went to the address and Veronica's car was in the drive. That is why she knew about the personal stuff. Whatever mail went, she obviously found it. She found out about my house situation. I blocked her on WhatsApp because she was sending me threatening messages on the Tuesday night. On the Wednesday morning I woke up and my car was full of white flour. It took three days to get it off. In her evidence, Jackson claimed her ex-boyfriend had been working as a building site manager whilst claiming benefits and